Welcome back to the Success Finder podcast as I have something playing in the background. Toyland, Joyland. But you did not come here for my musicality or a lack thereof. Quick side note, I used to be in show choir, musicals, dance, all that kind of fun stuff. But uh, it has apparently not um, transitioned me to that uh, that career path. Anyways, hey, let's uh, let's move on. What we're going to talk about today. Online professional communities. Yeah, that's what we're here for. You know, online professional communities, they've been around for years, decades even. But recently, with an increased dependence on digital business dealings and that little global pandemic, which by no means, please understand, it was not little. Um, you know, we'd love to put it in the rear view mirror, but online communities for professionals are on a steep incline. Here are three reasons why we feel they are. Number one, online communities where like-minded, similarly goal-driven individuals are gathered make for more supportive and meaningful environments when used responsibly. A lot of things in life use use responsibly. At the Success Finder, we make no apologies about our dislike for social media. They lack authentic connections. There's lots of abuse. Even racial, offensive language, advertising, fake news, even bullying from people hiding behind fake accounts. There's noise, clutter, distraction. And most of what you see is not what you're there to see. On the other hand, online professional communities encourage meaningful and respectful discussions. Most like-minded people congregate in online communities to share ideas, offer their skills and knowledge, support each other, solve problems, and pro promote movements. Since there's less pressure from pressing others, members can present themselves in the best light possible while still maintaining their true selves. As a result, they become more self-confident, less intimidated, and are sure their contributions won't be shut down, shouted down. With such meaningful, respectful, and communal ways of doing things, these platforms have become highly attractive for the intangible value members get. Number two, online professional communities are great sources for making connections, multi-networking, and growing your business. Whether you're a jobless professional looking for work or just starting a business, online communities provide great spaces for arranging partnerships, marketing, as well as selling out your events. Those running businesses can learn new methods of doing things and get timely advice from more experienced entrepreneurs. I can tell you from that one right there how much I have taken advantage of in the right way of having those online communities and what I build and what I continue to build to this day. Online multi-networking front. By connecting with like-minded professionals, you build your influence and raise your profile as an expert and thought leader, make friends, expand your network, and gain access to exclusive events in your industry. <sighs> Number three, online professional communities are primary sources for valuable content tailored to suit your needs when you want it, when it matters most to you. Online communities have become hubs where experts and professionals in a specific industry connect and feel like they belong. Man, think about that. Feeling like you belong. They get to freely share and exchange useful ideas and knowledge about their experiences as they solve problems around specific areas of interest, such as valuable content continues making these communities grow further as it increases engagement between the members, ultimately strengthening the community and boosting its perceived value. A professional community provides a rich stream of fresh and user-generated content that further pulls in other interested professionals who, who come for content and end up staying for the community. But the success of any online community depends on one shared responsibility amongst its members. 
You've got to give value to get value.